Welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will continue with mesh analysis. So as we studied, the first step is identify the meshes. So there are three meshes in this. The second step is mark the mesh currents to be in clockwise direction. So say this is mesh 1. So let the current flowing in this be I1. Mesh 2, let this current be I2. And mesh 3, let this current be I2. The next step is writing Kirchhoff's voltage law for each mesh. So let us say mesh 1. Come to the first mesh. Current is first touching the negative sign. So write, let us write it directly as 12 volts plus 12 volts. This is a resistance. So minus 2 into I1. This current is passing through this. Now through this 10 ohms, there are two currents flowing, I1 as well as I2. And since it's a resistance, we can directly write it as minus 10 into. We are writing currently the equation for mesh 1. So we'll write this as I1 minus I2. Come to the next element in this mesh. It's a resistance. So minus 1 into. Again, there are two currents flowing through this 1 ohms, I1 and I3, both in the opposite direction. And since we are writing the equation for mesh 1, we will write this as I1 minus I3. Since we have covered the entire mesh, sum of these will be equal to 0. So once you have written the KVL equation, bring I1 terms together, I2 terms together, I3 terms together equal to a constant term. Similarly, Proceed for mesh 2. This is mesh 2. 10 ohms resistance, so minus 10 into. Which are the two currents flowing through it? I2 and I1. Again, both are in the opposite direction through this 10 ohms. So this can be written as I2 minus I1. This current, when it reaches this source, the arrow is first going to reach the positive sign. So you can write here as minus 10 resistance. So minus 2 into. There is only one current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. So this will be minus 2 I2. Then you have this 3 ohm resistance. So minus 3 into. The two currents flowing through 3 are I2 and I3. Again, both are in the opposite directions through this 3 ohm resistance. And since we are writing the equation for mesh 2, we'll write it as I2 minus I3. Since we have covered all the elements of this mesh, sum of the voltage drops across each element is equal to 0. Again, group the terms accordingly. Now let us move to the last mesh, which is mesh 3. I3 is the current flowing through this 1 ohm resistor. Through 1 ohm, again, you have two currents flowing, I3 and I1, both in the opposite direction. And since we are writing for I3, that is a third mesh, so this can be written as minus 1 into I3 minus I1. The other element in this third mesh is 3, resistance. So minus 3 into I3 minus I2. Moving in the clockwise direction, I3 is the only current flowing through 4 ohms since it's a resistance, minus 4 I3. This current, when it reaches to this source, it is going to first touch the negative sign. So we can write here as plus 24 is equal to 0. Again, simplify this equation. So this is a simplified equation. Once you have written the mesh equations for all the three meshes, solve these equations and find out the values of I1, I2, and I3. Now, if you see I1, the direction is clockwise. I2 is also clockwise. I3 is also clockwise. Now, suppose in the question, you have been asked to determine the current through this 3 ohm resistance. So how do we find out the current through 3 ohm resistance? Which are the two currents flowing through 3 ohm resistance? I2 as well as I3. 
So there are two options, either you can go for I2 minus I3 or I3 minus I2. So if you see I2 and I3, both are positive values. So if you do I3 minus I2, you're going to get a positive value. So let us write this as I3 minus I2. And so this will be equal to I3 is 4.1 minus 2.01. And so the final answer you'll be getting is 2.09 amperes. And what will be its direction? Since you have written here I3 minus I2, you have to choose the direction of I3 through 3 ohm resistance. So what is the direction of I3 through 3 ohm resistance? In clockwise, it is going to be like this. So this is the final answer for current through 3 ohm resistor. I hope this sum is 